Good morning. As I was uh, just typing in the chat there, <coughs> my uh, stream quality for some reason is not at 720. It's at 540. I was wondering why all my videos on YouTube are only at, they're not uploaded at 720. They're all at 480. What the fuck is going on here? Anyway, whatever. It's not me. I haven't changed a damn setting. So I just want to say I hate technology. So get off my fucking lawn. All right, now we can start our stream. Um, we uh, we only have two games today. Two. We're gonna play UCLA, and then we're gonna play this BCS championship game. And uh, the cool thing is, we we still have a chance for us to play Iowa and have uh, a rematch. Northern Illinois could easily lose to Miami. Nebraska could beat Ohio State. I guess, I guess Iowa didn't get into the championship game. All right, they have two losses. We're not going to play them. Never mind. We could play Texas Tech, but that would force them to jump over Tennessee. So probably not. So we're probably going to play one of these three teams right here. One of those three. And if I have to choose, I would rather play a team with not two losses. <laughs> I'd rather play Texas A and M. I don't really want to play Northern Illinois. So. Either way, we got to get this game out of the way and play. So um, you can see we came in second in the Heisman. Or no, they haven't awarded the Heisman yet. I'm sorry. It was uh, it was my off-stream one that I'm doing with uh, Georgia Southern. We, we finished second. Um, <clears throat> Stats-wise, do we need any particular stats going into these last two games? Because we're going to have two games worth. So Flash would be close to 4,000 yards if he'd have played every down. He's already got his 1,531 touchdowns. He's already got his 1,000. So these two guys would have to get over 300 yards in two games. That's the tight end and the running back. Um, probably not going to happen. So uh, we'll leave it at that. Defensively, Specta needs one more sack to set a new record for uh, sacks at Oregon in a season. He already has the career mark. He actually owns, he's tied his own mark. So one more sack, he sets a new record. So. Yeah, well, here, you can look at this. I don't know that Northern Illinois has played anybody. And it doesn't bother me so much when teams like Northern Illinois make it, but I would rather play a higher overall team. So have they beaten anybody with a winning record? No. They're about to play Miami. And if they beat Miami, that will be their only win against a team with a winning record. And they barely beat North Texas. So, yeah, Texas A&M, they lost Michigan State, who's 2-10. So that's why they're staying out of it, because they lost to a 2-10 team. Look at this back-to-back -back shutouts against Arkansas and Texas. Look, they only gave up three points in those three games combined. What's Ohio State got? They lost to us in overtime. And they lost to Nebraska by two points. And they played two more overtime games. Wow. 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 <laughs> they could have four losses that, that easy. All right, well. Yeah, that, that was the first game of, the, of this particular season was the Ohio State game. So that was a game where we were winning and then they... Drove on that last drive and tied the game on the last play. All right. Well, let's look at our contract real quick. Yeah, we just signed a seven-year extension, but we, we're not going to see the end of that contract. So I'm uh, leaning towards coming back next season and not going to Arkansas, North Carolina, Pitt, or LSU. And NCAA fan, good morning. Sorry I didn't see you on the chat there. Good morning, guys. So I'm looking at uh, hanging out for one more year and then leave. Um, I don't think we've stayed at any school longer than five years. Bad Moon, how you doing, man? Welcome in. So we can uh, get in here and win this game, win the next one, finish up our recruiting class and go on to next year. Um, 
I'm leaning towards not even recruiting next year, just letting the computer recruit for them. We can get through the season fast because I don't have to deal with recruiting. Let's see. They have a uniform that they wear right now that is, I think, this. They wear something like this. So we're going to wear it just to be obnoxious, but I'm going to put them in black gloves. Eh, nightmare gloves. That'll work. So we're going to wear that god-awful color combination. So, all right, guys. Two games in an off-season today. Looking to be done by 1 o'clock Central so I can have my lunch. And... Uh, We'll be ready to start the new season relatively quick, maybe even as early as tomorrow. Um, I go to the doctor next week on Tuesday, get this damn cast off and get me a walking boot. So hopefully I'll be a little more mobile next week, at least able to take a shower and not have to uh, take a bath because it's a pain in the ass to get in and out of the tub. So, some normalcy would be good. All right, let's go. Come on. Thank you. All right, we're playing in the uh, Raiders Dome in Vegas. Uh, Bad Moon, I think USC and UCLA joining the Big Ten is bullshit. I think it's better when we don't have the super mega conferences. That's just my opinion. I think it's bullshit. Uh, geography means nothing anymore and everybody's chasing money so I think they're they're uh, killing the tradition of the sport and since I'm a huge baseball fan I, I do care about the tradition tradition of the sport which makes me uh, not happy with how they use pitchers nowadays just throw as hard as you can as long as you can and then uh, bring somebody else in one inning at a time it's not the way you play baseball. So I don't like it at all. Don't like, uh, it's gonna be fun when uh, USC and UCLA have to go to uh, New Jersey to play against Rutgers in the snow. <laughs> Travel all the way across the country and then they have to play in the snow. That's gonna be great. <clears throat> <clears throat> I wasn't. I was not. Uh, I was not happy with Mizzou going to the SEC. I would have rather, if they're going to change conferences, go to the Big Ten instead of Nebraska. We have more in common with the Big Ten, especially academically, than uh, than Nebraska did, and uh, we certainly aren't part of the South. I'm kind of in uh, autopilot mode for this game. Not God damn. Nobody wants to fucking block. Look at that. My wide receiver decides to play tag your it with the with the DB and then run 40 yards up the field. And my guard decides to not block anybody. So let's make it second and 14 for no good reason. Remember, we put up 70 on these baby backs uh, a couple of streams ago. What in the fuck is going on with our blocking? Come on. Third and 23. Yeah, we're going for that. See, they're blitzing me every down. Every down, they're bringing the heat. Yeah, we never punt. I'd be surprised if we have more than three punts on this entire season. Somebody remind me to go check punts when the season's over. 
That play right there against the CPU is the reason why we never punt. Oh man, let's go. Center and guard are double teaming the D tackle and then the center doesn't disengage and hit the middle linebacker. He just lets him slip right in. I think the game wants us to throw all day and I have no problem doing that. Anybody who's watched my Texas Tech experimental dynasty where we play 15 minute quarters and uh, we play 15 minute quarters and throw every down. Yeah, we, we can throw every down here. I don't care. Let's do it. Let's throw. They don't want us to run. We'll just throw on them. Oh, dive. Oh, needed one more yard now to have been able to dive into the end zone. So, of course, we're going to be at the one yard line for an inside run. <laughs> oh, man. See that guy split the double team? We literally pounded these guys. It was 70 to 14 last time we played. Now they're playing like um, their 99 overall team. <clears throat> oh man. Hey, if you're, uh, if you're in uh, Q's Discord, go in there and. Uh, Ask where your uh, where your hug is at because she's giving out hugs, but she's doing it one at a time and not just giving out a big group hug. So you got to go in there and request your own. Give her a give her a guilt trip for not for not just straight up giving everybody a hug from the start. <clears throat> She'll be in here in a little bit. I just talked to her. <clears throat> <laughs> nice throw. What the hell? Where is he throwing the ball? My God. If you guys didn't see my uh, my tweet, get him, pick it up, pick it up. Ah. <laughs> I watched, uh, I finished all eight episodes of the, um, what the hell was it? The new Chris Pratt thing on Amazon Prime, the terminal something or other. I would highly recommend watching it. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of people getting shot, not not on the level of John Wick, but pretty close. Um, but it was. Uh, it was really, really good. Highly recommend watching it. Oh, -ho! spin move puts 25 on the ground. I never, I never spin in this game. <laughs> he just went down like he was shot. All right, let's see if we can get outside and hit some blocks over here. There we go. The receiver could have kept that guy on the inside. I'd have been down the entire sideline. <clears throat> Gotta get better blocking receivers. They can't just play patty cake out there and, and just... Uh, Give me two seconds to hit a hole and then let him go. That's terrible. There you go, Irby. Oh, break that. Thank you. All right.
Yeah, we should have been showing our, uh, our tight end a little more love earlier in the year. We ran the ball a ton in the first half of the season, so we, uh, we're a little behind on our, uh, our past numbers. You get in? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> the Terminal List, that's the name of that show. Very, very good. <clears throat> And uh, I will go to the coach carousel just to see what's out there. But I'm like 90% sure, even though there are some really good schools in the list, Arkansas, Pitt, North Carolina, LSU. Um, I'm, uh, I'm leaning towards hanging out in at least another year at Oregon. And uh, then we'll look at it. Why is he not? I dove. I hit... off. Yahoo Mail is such a pain in the ass. There we go. Knocked that loose. Good job. Good job. They still haven't completed a pass. Got him. There we go. Too much pressure. Wasn't Specta. He's still looking for that one last sack to uh, set a new school season record. He's, he's tied his own at 15, so. All right. At least they have a good punter. Ah. These outside guys can't block anybody. All right. They have negative 10 yards of offense. Yeah. You don't realize how I had this huge urge to just go deep on this particular play, and I'm forcing myself to run the ball and not uh, go deep every chance I get. Here we go, Jack. Move the chains. Send everybody else deep. Run off the DBs. Leave the underneath wide open. Give a nice toss. Let's go. Did you guys have a nice uh, 4th of July? Did you uh, do anything special? We, uh, we had uh, all of our kids and their families over and cooked burgers and hot dogs and shit like that. Drank a lot of tequila because uh, my oldest son... I had the urge, so we, we drank like three different kinds of tequila yesterday. <laughs> Not surprising for most of you, I guess. <coughs> but it was uh it was good. Started to watch the Cardinal game and Braves kicked our ass. So I just turned that game off. Here we go. Marcus Holmes. Too much food? Yeah. Yeah. I actually was the one out there uh, cooking on the grill. I was able to take, I have this thing that has wheels on it and a horizontal pad and handlebars. And I just kneel on it. And, uh, and so I was able to get out there and uh, stand there and cook. It's my normal job anyway, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just go outside. At least I can get out of the out of the house, get some sunshine. And it was hot as hell yesterday. It was 97. It's gonna be like 102 here today. 
Yeah. Today and today and tomorrow it's going to be over a hundred, but then by like Saturday or Sunday it's going to be in the seventies. Strange, strange weather, man. <clears throat> All right, we pretty much put them in uh, pass only mode here, even though we're still thirty seconds left in the first quarter. Got me turned around. I didn't know which way he was going to juke. <laughs> All right. You want to play that way? Let's play that way. <sighs> this feels like that inevitable touchdown drive that they always go on. <clears throat> Jay Gates, no, this is on PS3. You have to have a stupid good computer to be able to play this game and stream at the same time. I mean, you have to have a really good computer to play it anyway, but if you're going to stream it, um, you, you got to have a really robust um, processor to do both. I wish I could play it on PC. This is PS3. This is probably the easiest to get. Uh... To get revamped. Get him. Man, I thought Spectre was going to hit that hole. There was a gap there on the right, and I thought he was going to bust right through, and then he kind of, like, suctioned right into that tackle. <clears throat> Let's go, boys. Somebody make a play. It's a run. Of course it won't let my DBs tackle a wide receiver, because why would they... Fucking game. Yeah, hey, Gates, I just answered that question. I think it's bullshit. I think they should all stay in their own fucking geography um, conferences. Everybody's chasing money. You know, all these schools are greedy as fuck, including uh, um, Mizzou, where my daughter goes. <laughs> when they left the Big 12 for the SEC, it was all about money. I don't like it at all. You're fucking up the history of the sport. Honestly, I wish they'd bring back the Southwest Conference, put all the Texas teams in Arkansas and all that stuff back in one conference. <clears throat> yeah, somebody told me that they were doing, I think it was Spec that told me in chat that they, they were moving, and I was like, I didn't say it out loud, but I'm like, no way, they're not moving. California team is not moving to the Big Ten. And, yep, sure enough. I think it's garbage. Absolute garbage. Alright, circle. R1. Yeah. Guy came down really quick on me. I thought I was going to get by that linebacker and get right up the sideline. Alright. I don't want those plays. You don't need to go deep like that. This one works just fine. <clears throat> yeah, we have another Michigan State fan in here, BB Macon. <laughs> They're about to fire their head coach in uh, this particular dynasty. I think they went 2-10. and ten. We just left um, Iowa. We were at Iowa five years before we came here. This is our fourth year here. 
and uh, won five straight natties at Iowa, so I really don't want to have to go back there and play against them. Schools need to recruit better too, Rocky. Need to have these 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 players need to have a little more common sense. Can I go to Alabama and be a third string player and only play two years, or I can go somewhere else and be a four year starter? Guys get drafted all the time from schools outside the SEC. So Man, if Jack was a lot faster, he's not nearly as fast as uh, Mahomes and Maxwell was. Yeah, well, I understand that. And, and that's where the parents need to uh, step in. All right, looking for this drag route all the way across the field from circle. I love these shoestring tackles. They bounce off us like we're fucking bumper cars, and uh, we get brought down by a, a fingernail. Oh, man. If this game was balanced, <laughs> if this game was balanced, it'd be a lot better than it is. We just love it because it's the last one. One lovey. There you go. Just barely stayed in bounds. All right. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, our new head coach at Mizzou. And by new, I mean he's going into his third year. He uh, he got us our first like top 15 recruiting class. <clears throat> This last season, got the number one wide receiver in the country in Louis Berdan. So, we, uh, we're we improving as well. But, if you made me a commissioner of all of college sports, I would outlaw these kids doing their fucking reveal on ESPN. ESPN's a fucking scourge of sports. They don't need to broadcast that shit. Just, just tell the school that you're going to go there and go. Quit making these kids into thinking they're all that before they ever step on campus. It's just garbage. This is not the play I want, but it's the play we're going to get. Here, let's do this. I wanted a four-man rush, and it wasn't giving me... What the hell is wrong with this dude? It wasn't giving me... Uh, it wasn't giving me the formation I wanted. All right, now we want to go here. Wow. I think my guys warped to that hole. <laughs> Look at that. Midnight Toker, he just warped through three guys. What the hell was that? Hey, when 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 they do it to us, I complain. So when I, when I get the benefit of the doubt of that warping, I want to know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I've never seen one of my guys make that kind of a move around and through three other guys. <sighs> Come on, tackle him. Man, I bring a lot of pressure, so when I uh, don't get to the quarterback, they get big plays like this. He was right in his face. My wife likes to keep the uh, thermostat on like 77, 78. Jesus Christ. I can sweat my nuts off all day long. All right, if we can hold them, get the ball back one more time before half. Oh, 
and keep us on pace because we beat them. Uh, oh, and he's hurt. We beat them 70 to 14 last time. So if we can hold them and score again, that'll uh, that'll be the uh, correct pace. There we go. Second and eight. I really love this 3-4 over defense, man. Even with four wide receivers, I still like it. Nah, Notre Dame's got to go to a conference now. They're just going to get left in the dust if they don't. They belong in the Big Ten as well. I mean, it's natural rivals with uh, Indiana, Michigan State, and Michigan. Yeah, they're definitely not an ACC school. Oh, man. Yeah, we don't trust these guys. I'm going to go fake field goal formation and just let them kick the field goal. I don't trust them. <laughs> We're going with the regular defense here. He's got the leg. Yep. Nice kick. All right. Held him to three. Much better than uh, seven. We'll take that. And their running back is out for the game with a sprained foot. So <clears throat> we're not going to run this back. <clears throat> That's uh, quite helpful for us. So let's go. Come on. Yeah. We should have somebody open here on the right, but I'm not opposed to scrambling. Yeah, I was taken off to run, and they uh, ran up on me. Look at Jumpin' Jack. He hasn't missed a pass this half. Yeah, on the run. And I didn't even throw it that hard either, so... <coughs> Clock's going to stop after this. We still have two timeouts. Let's call timeout so that my halfback doesn't decide to just walk over to the sideline when I want him to run the ball here. They, uh, they like to randomly just sub him out and not tell me. <laughs> Let's try this. Counter. And this one. This is the formation with the two tight ends. Touchdown, lovey dovey, second of the day. Yeah, they thought I was going to run again. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. All right, 16 seconds. So, sorry. They're probably going to get three plays at least out of this. Why am I not streaming a 720? I don't understand. I need to get that. I uh, need to look at that. It's got to be a Streamlabs thing.
looking through my settings. I didn't change anything, so I'm not sure why it's uh, it's not 720. All right, halftime. They only threw for 48 yards. I think they uh, they may not even have 100 yards in the half. Let's go find out real quick. I'm not going to look at all the stats. We're just going to look at the team stats. Yeah, they have 109 yards of offense. That's terrible. <laughs> And these are pretty much J-Kit sliders, so. Boink, right off the uh, middle bar there. Not the crossbar, but the middle post. They should come out and throw the entire half, but they won't. They're going to run, and it's going to get swallowed up. <laughs> that 3-4 uh, over does not allow too much on the, uh, on the ground at all. And this is not their best running back either. I missed the tackle. Damn it. Well, at least he didn't get the first down. I missed the sack just barely, and then I missed that tackle. Can't do anything about that. That one step quick throw. Didn't have time for the defense to get in there. All right. He wants to go five wide. At least I don't have to worry about this guy scrambling. Oh, Jimmy, got to wrap him up, man. You had him right away. Again, I made the inside move with Specta. It was ready to hit square to dive, and he suctioned back over to the tackle. Let's see if it'll show this on the replay. Right here. Look at this. I go outside. I beat him inside. I have a clear path. I'm going, I'm getting, I'm like, my finger is moving to hit square to dive, and then he engages the tackle. Look at this. I have him beat. I'm hitting square. Nope. No sack for you. Look at that. It slowed him up just enough that I couldn't get him. Because as soon as he threw the ball, it released. <laughs> what the hell was that? So the CPU just decided to jump off sides. That was not me. I was on the D end. Still first down. We're bringing all the heat. It's either going to be a sack or a touchdown. Good tackle. There we go. We got that sack. Ikea. The 
pull him to another field goal here. Oh, you got to pick that. That hit him straight in the hands. If he's going to let us return a kick, or he's just going to kick everything deep. Yeah, screw it. I'll just take it at the 25. Especially when they kick it in the middle of the end zone. Blocking up the middle is horrible. Here we go, Holmes. Way to hang on, man. I saw that gap between, so the DB was pressing and the safety was way back. So all I had to do was is uh, wait for the uh, guy to break the press and throw it hard right away. He's got to get closer to the sideline, man. That's our first incomplete pass of the day. Be like the QB robo quarterback back here. All right, good run. We don't have to run a whole lot with Miller. He's already got 1,500 yards. Looking at 82. Looking at, no, I'm sorry, circle. Circle and square. Go, Holmes. Go, Holmes. Get up there. Go, 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 go. Oh. It was wide open. I couldn't throw that ball quick enough, and I still almost got sacked on the play. Miller with his third of the game. Seasons like this and, and games like this are kind of the reason why I was saying I wanted to go to another school, but I think uh, five years, a full five years. We didn't do a full five years at uh, Central Florida. And then we did those weird three seasons at Ohio State, or two at Ohio State and one at Texas A&M, waiting for the uh, Iowa job to get open. What I should have done was let the computer recruit for Ohio State <clears throat> and not recruited for them myself until the uh, Iowa job got open. All right, guys. <clears throat> now we got the crowd into it. Gotta do a better job of tackling. Yeah, I thought they were gonna run, so I called a run defense. So uh, we weren't gonna cover them man to man. Wow, nobody wants to cover this guy. Had two guys over there. 
and they just let him go. How can you how can you both let this guy go? Look how wide open he is. The hell was 38 doing? We're going to run this one back. Can't keep starting at the 25. Six plays, six plays, nine plays, six plays, six plays. All right, this pass play right here cannot be pressed. The way these guys come off the line at an angle like that, none of them can be pressed. I'm looking at X and R1. Wow. That should have been a catch. All right. Let's go, let's go back to running the ball because we're throwing the ball a little too much right now. They really want me to throw. They do not want me to run the ball today. Try to get 92 yards receiving. Yeah, he we may end up getting him a uh, thousand yards after all at this point. Go, Irby. Go, go, go. You got more speed than that linebacker. Boom. They sent the house and we caught him. <laughs> Look at this. Bring the safety on the right and the left. And no one's there, and all they have covering is a slow-ass uh, linebacker. There was no way they were catching him. Another trip to the defensive uh, wasteland. We, we, we've got to play a little bit better this half. Unbelievable. Playing cover two. And this guy throws a fucking bullet dot with guy right in his face. He's gone. They're not catching him. <laughs> yeah, they want a one play drive. I'll one play drive them right, right back. There was a couple of really good blocks on that kick return. That's why I have our 99 speed halfback running back kicks.
All right, suddenly turned into a track meet. The most points we've given up all year is 44. The next lowest after that is 28. So kind of not need to not give up any more any more points at all right now. And then we give them 40 yard cushions. What the hell is, I'm gonna have to tell them to press. This is ridiculous. Man, this dude was throwing balls five yards away from his receiver to start the game, and now he's dotting everybody up. There we go. Spec to get his sack. Yes. All right. New record, 16 sacks in a season. There it is, broke his old record. Ran right into that one. Oh, we're gonna get another one. Man, this falling forward for the extra three, four yards every time is just monotonous. <clears throat> There's no reason why they should be punting here. They're, they're down basically 30 points, and they're punting. God damn, wide receivers don't block for shit in this game. They just let the guys go. Literally just tap and go. Why are they running up the field to hit a safety? Your job's to block the guy right in front of you, not run up into the secondary and pick somebody off 30 yards downfield that's not even in the play. Instead of turning this into a serious track meet, we're just going to grind. We're going to grind. We're going to get Miller his yards. Get him his 100 yards. Guarantee that he wins the Heisman. He's got three more touchdowns. And uh, take as much time off the clock as we can. All right, he got his 100 yards. We're just going to slow play this. What's up, USN? How you doing, man? We are uh, trying for back-to-back -back natties today. Forty-nine er George with the big seven-yard run right up the middle. 
trying to give my my halfback a little bit of rest because he's uh, going to get overused here. So let's let's give that back to George. We'll go on the other side this time. Yeah, we're debating on whether to stay here and uh, do our fifth year and go for three in a row or go somewhere else because um, Arkansas, North Carolina, Pitt, and LSU are all going to have openings. So, uh, hey, thanks for the shout-out, Rocky. So, uh, we're, we're trying to decide. I'm heavily leaning. I wouldn't have said this the other day. I would have said we are we're leaving, but... Um, today, I feel like staying and playing one more year. So we'll just kind of see. We've already burned three minutes off the clock on this drive. <laughs> I want to eat this, basically this entire quarter on this drive. I don't want them to have the ball. Yeah, I should be going for my third in a row right now, but we kind of fucked that up really bad. Last season, we went 14-0, and but the year before that, we were 12-2, and and I had that stream where I gave up 70 to Mizzou, and I gave up like 125 points in two games to Mizzou and uh, UCLA. And so I haven't lost a game since that, <clears throat> since that stream. But it, I took three weeks off after that. I was so upset with myself. It was embarrassing. I don't mind losing, but giving up 70 to anybody, uh, CPU-wise. <laughs> All right, we had over five minutes left in the quarter when we got this ball. And uh, we're just going to do one more inside zone, get him his fourth touchdown, make sure he gets his, his Heisman Trophy. There we go. How long was this drive? How many plays? How many yards? <clears throat> 12 plays, 74 yards, 5 minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> Stop Specta. Hey, man, you just got a sack on the last drive or the drive before that, so you set the new school record with 16 in a season. Georgia Tech lost. And we just burned 522 off the clock. We were totally dominating UCLA in the first half, and then they come out, and they're scoring like crazy in the third quarter. I think they had 17 points in the third quarter. They had a one-play 75-yard bomb right down the middle of the field, and we, we responded to that with a 104-yard uh, kickoff return. But uh, Spectre gets another one. <laughs> 17 on the season. Look at this. He just bull rush, throws him off. Boom. There you go. Right in the chest. Boom. Surprised he didn't throw the ball there. Usually they get the uh, benefit of the doubt on the animation. So. Whatever we do, we'll be back tomorrow to play. Here, let me let me try a speed test again on my uh, browser, my uh, internet. Make sure we're doing okay. They're supposed to come out and take a look at it on Thursday. I mean, we've we've been going, we've been having uh, frames drop like crazy. Oh my God, if I have to answer that question one more time. Nothing against you, Big Perk. This will be the third time I've answered this question. <laughs> I think it's a money grab and I think it's bullshit and it's ruining the uh, tradition of the sport. Don't like it at all. Just let it go. I'm not going to let him... Do this back and forth, back and forth, and then muff the punt and let them get it there. You see that? That's the game messing with me. So we'll just move them out of the way and let it go all the way down there. All right. 
I don't need to throw the ball. We just need to eat the clock, get this game over with. And it pissed me off. Yeah, Notre Dame should go to the Big Ten. He's holding my fucking running back. <laughs> Whatever. Game's over. 63-27. Last time we played him, we won 70 to 14. All right. I guess we get to see if we're going to play Texas A&M, Ohio State, or Northern Illinois. Yeah, Notre Dame, them being independent, just as a fan's perspective, they seem kind of um, conceited and arrogant that they're too good to be in a conference. I'm going to let that stuff run, and I'm going to uh, update my head coach history here. finish updating that Oregon and Arizona um, some of those schools have already contacted the Big Ten about going to the Big Ten like Oregon so it could be the uh, the big big 16 or the big 24 <laughs> two divisions of 12 teams see the SEC steal uh Clemson and a couple other a uh, couple other schools. All right, let's get our stats. They're just ruining the sport. I don't care what they say. They're ruining the sport. All right. So, 413, four touchdowns, one pick at the very end it didn't matter, one sack, 126 and four touchdowns from Miller. 107 and a touchdown for Holmes, Lovey Dovey with two, Irby with one. No pancakes. Willie DePimp, Ikea, all these TFLs, five sacks. Should have had a pick or two. Yeah, it's, it's all money. They don't give a shit about tradition. As someone who's been alive longer than most of you, it's, uh, it's in every sport. It's progress right it's um I, I don't think just like with you know smartphones and all that other shit it's supposed to be progress and if i ever win the fucking lottery i'm gonna build a cabin out in the middle of montana and just adios All right, off to the uh, BCS championship. Yeah, try try watching during the 70s and 80s when they weren't throwing the ball nearly as much. It was boring back then because they ran the ball so much. Um, that's why Dan Marino was, was so cool because he just was slinging the ball all over the field like they do now. Um, it was so different than what everybody was used to. Um but yeah, even back then, baseball pitchers would go seven, eight, nine innings regularly instead of this throw max effort as long as you can, 
There we go. Miller gets his uh, Heisman Trophy. He's got over 4,000 all-purpose yards because it's adding in his kick returns. We didn't get Coach of the Year last year when we went undefeated. Better get it this year. Specta won the Bronco Nagurski Award. Holmes wins the Wide Receiver Award. Specta wins the Lombardi. Won the Thorpe. My uh, running back who won the Heisman also won the Jet Rogers Award. And I didn't win Coach of the Year. What the hell? <laughs> How can I not win Coach of the Year? We're undefeated. So we're going to play Northern Illinois. Bunch of four, four lost teams in here. So this is the only game that Northern Illinois won the whole year against a winning team. Everybody's 500 or less. And look at all the ranked teams we beat. All right, let's check stats one more time. I'm gonna save and then we'll go play this game and get into the off season. All right, so if he throws for 325, he'll get his 4,000 yards, even though he didn't. He missed basically a game and a half earlier in the season. 40 touchdowns, 9 picks. Yeah, Miller Miller would have to run for 300 yards to get his 2,000. Last season, we had Bad Moon Rising run for 2,100 yards. There's Holmes, 17 tutties. There's no way these guys are getting 300 yards in this game. Specta. There you go, 17 sacks. Um, kick return, this is why Miller got uh, the Jet Award. Two touchdowns, 1,500 yards of kick returns. Another 283 on punt returns, and he's a junior. If he leaves, it's okay. We have a, a stud here. Check this out. We have this guy coming in to play running back, and if I have to play him as a true freshman, we will. This guy, Quentin Simmons. 96 speed, 96 excel, 94 agility, 94 elusive, 77 break tackle, 89 juke, 88 spin, 74 stiff arm. He's got 67 catch. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So if we lose Miller to uh, the NFL, I have no problem with that. All right, this right here is going to tell us who's going to get fired. Anybody that's on the hot seat is getting fired. Boise, BYU, Utah State, Temple, Iowa State, Utah, Georgia State, LSU, Michigan State. He may not, he may not get fired. It's only his first year, but they did go 2-10. Pitt. North Carolina, Tulane, Wyoming, Fresno, Duke. Um, I don't think these guys are going to get fired now. Miami and Arkansas are no longer on the list. So it would be North Carolina, Pitt, and uh, LSU would be our options. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to Michigan State because I don't want to go back to the Big Ten. So it would be one of those three teams. So I'm, I'm thinking about waiting an extra year. This is where we're at with our coach. This is after winning five straight natties with Iowa. So, yeah, that one, we should be going for three in a row. That, that one right there pisses me off. All right, hold on a second. I gotta write this dude's name down because I got this on the spreadsheet, so. Um, Brian 
Adrian Miller. That's done. All right, let's get this game going. We need to save first so we don't uh, lose that last game if something happens, lose my power. All right, let's finish this coffee too. All right, let's pick their uniform first. I don't mind putting them in all white. combos do they have? <clears throat> All right. What socks do they have? Just black? Yeah. What about their shoes? I think we're gonna go with yellow. I think we're gonna go with this one. All right guys, here we go. Let's get this out of the way. This would be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This would be our twelfth natty as a head coach. We have one more as an offensive coordinator. The year before we uh, went to Texas Tech, we won a natty with Oklahoma as the OC. So, We're going to have to make our schedule pretty difficult for next year because our, our conference isn't that great. <clears throat> Might just take anybody that's in the top five that we can schedule. And we're not even 91 or 99 overall team. I think we're, what are we? We're a 91 with 93 offense, 92 defense. So we're not even close to being maxed out yet. So there we go, averaging 56 points a game, 541 yards, over 300 yards passing, less than 90 yards against on the ground. And we're at the Rose Bowl. I have a cushion that I sit behind my low back um, in this chair, and I have to I need to move it to uh, under my ass because I can't get in a comfortable position with uh, with this leg in a cast and how I'm having to sit in this chair.
Let's go. Wow. It's going to be one of those. You're going to be dotting us with outs and not going down when we hit them. Guys got to disengage those uh, blocks much quicker. Wow, three plays. We need nothing stat-wise, <laughs> so we're not going after anything stat-wise. So we just need to uh, win the game. We're not going to be distracted by trying to get somebody a thousand yards or whatever. So we already got our Heisman. I don't know how these safeties are faster than my 99 speed running back. Come on, George, get out there and pick this dude off. If I stay running north and south, he gets out there, but then the, the lineman or linebacker coming over it picks me off. So trying to get there, <laughs> trying to help him out to get there cost me <clears throat> and he's hurt son of a bitch Last time we lost a natty was in this on this field against uh, Texas Tech on that Hail Mary. Let's go, George. Pullback love right here. Boom. Hang on, George. There you go. Way to go up in the air. A little vertical on the uh, fullback. Look at this. He's mossing his linebacker. And he hangs on. All right. Our number one running back is not back. So let's see how bad he's hurt. Out for the game with a sprained peck. This guy's got 97 speed, but he's just so slow. And he shouldn't be. All right, we're going to have to get Moody. We're going to have to pound the ball with Moody and get him in the game. We got to get this guy up to speed.
Yeah, he lasted, what, three plays and he's out. This means we're going to have to uh, sling the ball a little more now. Let's let's get that started right here. Exactly. This is the play I was looking for. Yeah, I, expect I put him at number four because he's uh, not that good. He's only got like 70-something acceleration. I'd rather have 49er George carrying a rock. That's why the fullback's number three on the depth chart. Now you know why I went and recruited that other uh, that other 81 overall halfback. Get that block, seal that edge. Thank you. Touchdown. Yeah, here's Specter. I'll show you the depth chart. Check this out. So, this guy right here, this 89, I think he's the, uh, I think he's the backup. And this is the starter. And this is the guy. Maybe he's in, uh, number two. I don't know. You might be looking at this guy as number four in the depth chart. Yeah, he just does not uh, accelerate very well. What's up, man? Cave, how you doing, man? Happy Tuesday to you, too. We are uh, in the natty against uh, Northern Illinois. And we just lost our Heisman Trophy winner, uh, Johnny the Jet Rogers winner for the game. Three plays into the game, he's out with a uh, strained peck. He strained his boob, and he's out for the rest of the game in the natty. Just means we're going to have to throw the shit out of the ball. Do you have a good fourth? We had uh, all of my immediate family over, my sons, both my sons and their their families, and my uh, daughter was in town and uh, cooked some burgers and hot dogs, and they all went to see fireworks. You know, oh, Specter, you got to have that tackle. What is the deal with the tackling in this game? This is severely tilted towards Northern Illinois at the moment. We're going to bring... Here's my daughter made it back to school. Come on, phone. Quit fucking around. My daughter puts my wife and I in a group a group uh, text to let us know she's back to school, and then I got to listen to my wife do uh, 90 uh, replies back. Oh, I hate group texts. Let's go. All right, guys. Play tough. Play tough. Come on with this shit. What is that animation? Look at this garbage. <sighs> One broken tackle. Okay, I can see that. We stand him up here. There's four guys surrounding him. 
four. The fifth comes in, he slips out of the tackle, and falls forward five fucking yards and almost scores. Too early for a shot, guys. It's too early. Now we don't have our best return guy because he's out for the game. This is that baby back bitch I wanted to cut two years ago. All right. They want to be that way. Should have kept the ball, would have got the first down. <laughs> and now one of our linebackers is out for the game with a concussion. This is going to hurt us in the pass game, too, because our running back was like our number two receiver. Just walk right by the guy. Wide receiver's blocking him. He gets loose, and 70 just olayed the block that would have sprung me all the way down the sideline. Come on, guys. AI is out of control today. And they try to hit stick me at the end. All right, one quarter down. Playing against two teams here. Playing against uh, Northern Illinois and the uh, and the computer, the uh, RNG. We have to rely on our uh, pass game a whole lot more than I have been so far. <clears throat> Let's go. You hang on? No, he dropped it. He's trying a little lob pass to the back of the end zone. All right, we're going to have to run the ball.
game wants us to lose, boys. The game wants us to lose. This is four down territory. We are not going to throw the ball here because I do not want to throw a pick. <clears throat> he's still slow. He should have enough carries now to be normal, but he's he's slow as hell. All right, tie game. Man Cave, you've seen two of our closest games all year. First game of the year went to overtime against Ohio State, so that was the closest one of all. Here we go. Make a play. Somebody tackle. That's the problem. We're not tackling anybody. Always for three extra yards. boys need another one just like it god damn is this Derrick Henry out here playing wide receiver? It took three guys to bring him down. I'm just spamming X. I'm not even trying to hit stick him. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You guys don't know the 46 defense is the same personnel as the 4-3 they just line up differently yeah every tackle is a gangbang it's ridiculous just just and then they uh they they uh just need one guy to bring you down and i need the entire defense to bring somebody down and then they still fall forward for five or six yards it's, that's the problem I need to hold him a three here. That brings up second and nine. Boom! There we go. Nicholson, our 95, 96 speed linebacker. Took his legs right out. Watch this. I dove right at his legs. Boom. Down. Sit the fuck down. Just wow.
All right, this is our number one wide receiver, so let's see if he can do any better. Yeah, we got to get this running back going. He doesn't have enough carries. So he's not running at full 100%. There you go. That's better. He's got a little more control now. Uh-oh. Oh, he fumbled. Thank God he went out of bounds. George, you're going to get relied on a little bit more today, man. Oh, he's out of the game. We're, we're running with the tight end because it subbed out my halfback and put George in the backfield. See, that's the shit that it needs to tell me, that it, it subbed out the halfback. It never tells you when your halfback's out of the game. You just It's like, uh, you know, it's like a box of chocolates, man. You never know who's going to be back there running the ball, right? How many pass yards do we have? 74. I'm looking at circle and a shallow cross here. What was that tackle animation? Look at this. All right, now we got to play defense. We've got to stop them. Man, a pick six would be really nice right now. Let's go, boys. Do something. All right, coach, give us a good play here. Yeah, I don't want to play zone. Hey, play in zone against the uh, CPU. Always five more yards. There you go, Pimp with the tackle. Big sack. Willie to Pimp. That's number 11 on the season for him. Crucial down right here, man. We got to get a stop. Bat the ball down, get a sack, get a pick. What a 
Of course not. He's 10 for 10. Come on, man. Somebody, somebody, somebody make a play. And it was a rocket, too. Unreal. Picked. Yes. Go, 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 go. Come on, Watson. Pick six, pimps. Pick six. Yeah, fuck you, Northern Illinois. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, at the goal line, 99 yards the other way. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I was asking for it. I even asked for a pick six, didn't I? <laughs> wow. Thank God it wasn't one of the linebackers because I think they would have been caught from behind. Thank you, NCAA. Yeah. I was just worried about him running back into the end zone and getting tackled for a safety. That would have really sucked. Wow. That needs to be clipped. Somebody can clip that for me. That would be great. 99-yard pick six, the end of the half. They're still going to march down the field and score. You watch. I should have had him sacked in the backfield twice. There we go. We'll eat a pimp with a sack. Oh my God, get me out of this fucking stream of text messages. Yeah, there we go. They didn't call their last timeout. Why would you not call the timeout and give yourself a chance? And we get the ball first. Awesome. So now we can go down. Make it a two-score game. Oh, I was trying to get outside to let that block, and I stepped out of... God damn it. Yeah, you might have to be a, uh, a sub. I don't know. I'll have to check my settings. It might be sub only can... Uh, can... Uh, clip. There we go. <clears throat> Where are we at? We're at 149, so I just need to go back to about one hour and 45 minutes and uh, find the clip. Got suctioned right into my guard and then uh, ran into the tackle. I was trying to get outside, and it just went poop right into him. 
All right, let's do this. Nope, not that. Let's try and hit our tight end, Irby. X. All right, we'll just dump it off to the running back since there's nobody on the sideline. I have 92 yards passing. Yeah, we're going to be throwing a lot in the second half. Hang on. Damn, he struggles in the red zone of catching balls. Yeah, we're going to throw a screen on the 13-yard line. I just need one block and he'll score. Like this. What's up, BB Macon? Hey, we're playing for the Natty. The game's been trying to screw us the entire first half, like needing to have five guys to tackle. They always fall forward for five yards. They knocked our uh, Heisman winner, Johnny the Rogers, Johnny the Jet Rogers uh, kick return award winner out of the game three plays in. Um, and it was uh, back and forth, back and forth. I tied the game there marching down. And we just had a 99-yard pick six against them near the end of the first half to give us the lead. And then we just marched down and scored to get us a two-touchdown lead. So that, uh, that pick six is probably going to win us the natty. Oh, it also injured one of our outside linebackers. So we're uh, a little shorthanded right now. Boom, there you go. Nicholson with the sack. It's the second time he's wiped his legs out. Watch this. This guy's pissing me off. Come on, come on. There you go. Boom. Bye, ACL. Goodbye. Man. Hey, BB, uh, the Michigan State job is going to be open at the end of this year. Their head coach, they went 2-10. and 2-10. <laughs> and so we're not going to go there, though. We're, we're, going to, um, we're going to stick it out. I was thinking about leaving the schools. The best schools available are North Carolina, Pitt, and LSU. And while I would like to go to North Carolina, we'll, uh, we'll stick it out here, try to win three in a row, and then we'll leave. Oh, pick that. Come on. Don't bat it down. That was another pick six waiting to happen. Game's over. That interception ended the game. I'm just going to have to fair catch all my punt returns because we don't have our best guy back there. We, we can't be doing this garbage. I was waiting for one of those receivers to get open. I was going to throw it over their head. Circle and square. <laughs> Guy blitzed off the edge and my halfback just stood there and watched him. And I, I told him to stay in and block. I told the halfback to stay in and block. And look at what he does. He totally O-laid. <laughs> oh my God.
halfback is selling so hard. He's like, I don't want to pass block. I want to run. Wow. That's, that was terrible. <laughs> Here you go, McCutcheon. Uh-oh. Is he going to make it? Is he going to get there? Yes. Touchdown. Oh, Remember this game was 21-14. Them. That touchdown puts us over. So the lowest point points scored all year in a game is uh, 41 against Georgia back in game two. So offense hasn't been the problem. Defense actually hasn't really been a problem all year. We've given up more than 28 points once all year and that was like a triple overtime game against um ohio state where we had them uh, held to under 30 points until the very last drive so defense is much improved it'd be nice if we can keep them under 20 points a game but maybe next year we need to make sure we uh, keep specta don't let him go pro but we do have three good three three good defensive ends coming in so if we lose him, it's not the end of the world. It's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Definitely our best pass rusher. There we go, Spect, a big TFL. Four-yard loss. Shed that block and get in there. That's all right. Not the end of the world. Inches? Where's Q? They said inches. <laughs> there she is. Where is it? Hold on. I gotta find your emotes. Where's your emotes? Why are you so far down the list? There we go. First thing you heard. <laughs> hey, they said inches. Figured you would be all over that. Hey, at least they didn't break it to the house. It means more time comes off the clock. So how's Q today? Yeah. Yeah, just just have it say inches. Oh, 
Ooh, he almost got the pick on the uh, rebound. Been busy, yeah. Well, yesterday wasn't your holiday, but it was our holiday here, so everybody's back to work, trying to get back to being busy ourselves. There we go. Throw his ass down. Peter Cabral. Nope, not going to work. I actually like these uniforms for Oregon better than I like their green ones. They have two fullbacks and a tight end on the field. Looks like they got a fullback playing guard right here. There's a fullback right there. Got him, sack. <laughs> All the way around the other side. They had, a, they had a fullback playing guard. I guess one of their guards is fatigued. Number 23 was playing right off the center on the right side. And they're going to punt? they got to be going for it. They're down three scores with basically one quarter left. All right, 7.47 left. Three touchdowns up. And we are not running the ball here. We uh, we want we need over 350 yards passing to get him over 4,000 for the season. So we're just going to throw until we get him his 350, and then we'll just run. Where are we at now? 204, so another 150 yards. Man blitz. All right. They better cover this guy or it's going to be a touchdown. As revamp would call one of those Jesus tack Jesus saves tackles. Let's go. And that's been good today. Here, let's let's test it one more time. I don't know what was going on last week. Here. You can see my test. Should be about 450 and about 20. Twenty two, something like that. Yeah, he's supposed to be coming Thursday. Even if it's not 20, if it sits here in the 19s, that's fine by me. All right, that's good enough. So, yeah. Oops, wrong one. Hold on a sec. Let me get off of this and back to the depth chart. And live cam. All right, we're good. So, yeah, no idea why it uh, tanked so bad. It was multiple days last week. It's our backup tight end, Mr. Mackey. Hugh, your tight end is number three in the depth chart because I think he's a freshman, so he'll be in next year. You'll get to see him play next year. All right, so we need another 100 yards passing. Snap the ball, snap the ball. All right, off to the fourth. Seven more minutes and we get our uh, second natty in a row. We're doing a shot before noon. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll find out next year if he has a really tight end, huh? Boom. They blitzed the middle linebacker and left the middle wide open, so I just went ahead and threw that as quick as I could so that that safety couldn't come down and fill the hole. All 
All right. One of these seasons, I might turn fatigue off and see how the CPU plays, especially in the second half with uh, no fatigue, because we seem to just dominate the second half of every single game. There we go. Nicholson gets another sack. Back to I was trying to get one for you, but he was just a little too fast for you. I dove, but I missed him. And another sack. There we go. This is what we weren't getting in the first half. Three sacks for Willie to pimp. Nose tackle. Dude's got 13 sacks at nose tackle. Fourth and 19 and they're, they're running a draw. I'm going to put punt block on here because I want to make them stay inside. I want to force them to stay back and block. It's okay. As long as it's plugged into electricity, it shouldn't matter how long you've been playing it. Mike Moody. His best game all year. Probably doubled his, his uh, rush yards on the season. Of course he won't let him score. He's got to drag him down inside the five. Got him over his 100 yards, though. Let's try this QB run. Jumpa Jack is really struggling to run the ball today. Oh, he dropped. God, these guys in their drop passes are killing me. QB fumble. They never fumble when they run. Um, you're looking into uh, rebranding. You're going to change your name. Oh, and he doesn't fumble. We hit him hard from the side. No fumble. Wow. He's out of bounds. How did he catch that ball and stay in bounds? Wow. Wow, wow, wow.
All right, we need to put a permanent spy on this dude. Give me one second. Oh, you dropped it. Thank you. There we go. Another sack. Hey, Willie the Pimp tied uh, Spectre's record with four sacks in the game. And he stumbles out of bounds. Fourth and three. Are they going to punt? Or are they going to go for it? They're down four scores with three minutes left. Tired of this guy, uh, scrambling all over the place. Yeah, just drag him in the end zone. He can't tackle anybody. All right, now we're gonna have to deal with the onside kick. change up what I normally do here. All right, now we're going to put two clock on. How many pass yards do I need? Come on, get off the screen. Need 70. We're not going to get 70. Tell you what. Let's burn these guys deep. Throw the ball faster. I'm spamming the button and it won't throw it. All right, fine. Yeah, please, please bring, please bring the heat. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Here we go. Just run. Get out of bounds. No fumble. All right. We're done chasing stats. I want to get another touchdown. I think it's a four score game. I'll let this clock wind down.
Yep, yep, yep. Got the 50 burger. <clears throat> it's this time right here. Goddamn, before noon, we're going to be taking shots. There we go. We'll do this after the game. This guy is slippery all of a sudden. Unbelievable. Nobody can shed a block. Nobody can tackle. <clears throat> Why are they running the ball? They're down four scores. We uh, we get the ball back here if they go for it on fourth down and go and get it. We're we're taking a shot down the field. What do I say? CPU doesn't have any feelings, so we'll just run this shit up on him. We had him stopped. Still say that should be intentional grounding, man. He threw it to his offensive line. It should not be an incomplete pass. <clears throat> Got him. Pimp's going to get his fifth sack of the game. That's a new record, I think. Did he give it to Pimp? No. Yeah, he did. That's five sacks this game by the nose tackle. New school record. Specta, you lost your record, man. Of course he falls forward. <laughs> oh, of course. Fourth down, we can't stop him at the one. He's got to fall forward. Four guys are standing right there tackling him. <laughs> We're going to have one play in offense, and I'm going deep. And they just scored 35 points. Most points I've allowed since week one. Go down. All right, five seconds. One shot. Why is it when you want the play? There we go. It never comes up when you want it, but it always comes up when you don't want it. All right, here we go. Five seconds. 
Stay in bounds. God damn. Well, he got it at 300 yards passing, but he stepped out at the three. Uh, Should have angled that a little more straight. All right, whatever. Got the win. Got the, got the natty. All right, we got our dub. Here you go, boys. Yeah, Q, I'm I'm missing the NCAA boys too. <clears throat> There's our natty number two. Should have been number three at Oregon. <clears throat> Let's go check the stats. <clears throat> yeah, we've been teasing Q because she was uh, giving out individual hugs and not giving group hugs so we kind of gave her a little bit of garbage on our discord <laughs> all right player stats jumping jack 1823 308 four touchdowns no picks one sack moody filling in he's a 74 overall freshman 117 yards two touchdowns you can see Miller got hurt three plays in. Holmes 116 in a tutty. Moody had a touchdown. McCutcheon had two. Wow, we actually got pancakes this game. We never get pancakes when we play the game. Defensively, look at these TFLs. Willie DePimp and Keith Nicholson, five TFLs apiece. Pimp had five sacks. Nicholson had three. Sanders had one. One pick, 99 yards. That's the one that went to the house at the end of the half that I wanted clipped. So we got to go back to about a minute 40, minute 40, I'm sorry, an hour 42 on the stream. That's a mental note for me to go back around an hour 42 and clip that. <clears throat> that was the, uh, that was the, uh, it's not going to show it because it was too long of a play, but that's the one that ended the game right there. Put us in a uh, 28 straight point streak. All right. Let me go update my uh, step, my uh, spreadsheet, depth chart spreadsheet. All right. Go there. There. Six thirty-five. One and one. Miller needs to be bolded and red. There we go. All right. So those of you that haven't seen this, this is what I'm looking at. So this is how we started as an OC. This is the Texas Tech one where we won every game for all four years of that uh, first recruiting class's career. Our little experiment at UCF. The only time we did the playoffs was this year. This is the Hail Mary game we lost. This was us wasting time. This was us dominating everybody at Iowa. And then here we are at Oregon. So uh, we'll play one more year and call it a call it a, a career at Oregon. So let me throw this line in here to make sure I remember to... Uh, we're leaving. So we're going to have one more year and we're out of here. <clears throat> So, one more year. Back to back. Yeah, I know. I don't need that trophy. We got a lot of those. All right. Advance the week. Let's go see what the uh, final rankings are. We got to set our uh, depth chart to make sure we don't lose anybody. And then we're, we'll go look at the uh, coach carousel just to see what's available. But we're going to stick around for one more year. 
We got a ton of underclass guys to play with. Don't know Q. We're uh, we're not leaving after this year, so we gotta wait to see what coach gets fired next year. So it all depends on what's going on. We have some good choices this year, but I, I want to win three in a row here, and then we'll go. So. How many years did I stay at UCF? I was kind of pissed. You guys picked UCF. We were four years there. So five at Texas Tech, four at UCF, two at Ohio State, one at Texas A&M, five at Iowa. This will be five at Oregon. Unless you guys really, really, really want me to go somewhere else. All right, 12 national championships. Look at Flash. He broke Desmond Maxwell's uh, passing ratings for uh, one season. Broke Mariota's uh, single-season touchdown pass mark. Holmes gets a uh, new record for tutties in a season. Tutties in a career. Specta, sacks in a season. <clears throat> Specta with career sacks. Let's go check this out. LSU, yeah. There we go. Tennessee. Look at Rocky Top. Tennessee's number two. So they're not firing their coach. Iowa went up to number five. AM lost. Texas Tech, three losses. Look at that. Tennessee is number two. And they're only uh, 83 defense. Look at Notre Dame. 97 offense, 88 defense. Look, we're only 91, 93, 92. We are, we are not goaded out. Um, AP is the same way. Let's check our All-Americans. Because the rest of the stream is basically going to be off-season. So we're not playing another game. So if you're here for gameplay, I appreciate you sticking around early, but we're leaving. So Miller got... And Miller and Holmes were first-team All-Americans. Look at all these Iowa offensive linemen. It's missing the right tackle. There's no right tackle because it gave two left tackles. What? Specta, you're a first-team All-American. Willie DePimp was a first-team All-American. Middle linebacker. The entire secondary is All-Americans. Second team. Our quarterback got no love at all. We had a corner get second team. How about freshmen? Our left tackle, our right guard, our right guard. Jimmy Two Blunts. Look, got freshman All American. All right. All right, here's the championship contenders. So you can see we're set up to win every freaking year. But let's look at this because this shows the bad teams. <clears throat> So all these guys are firing their coaches, pretty much. North Carolina wouldn't be too bad. Michigan State wouldn't be too bad, although I don't want to go to the conference. Michigan, we could win a natty next year with Michigan. I'm sorry, Michigan. LSU. Number 17 right there. We could win one with LSU right there next year. BYU. There's Pitt. We could win three in a row at Pitt. Who's got the 99 defense? Is that LSU? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. So I'm playing an off. Dream Dynasty. I'm the offensive coordinator at Georgia Southern. 
um, I've made some rules for mine. I'm doing a slow play. So um, I can't leave the school as their offensive coordinator until the head coach gets a job somewhere else. And if they offer me the job at Georgia Southern, I'll, I'll take that. Otherwise, I can go anywhere else. So the first year in, we have a 70 overall offense. We win the um, Sun Belt Conference, and we go to the fucking Natty in year one, and we lose because the game hoed me badly. I won't get into that, but we lose. So I get a I get a contract extension, and so does the head coach. But we had a 70 offense, and we made it to the Natty. So that 99 defense would just make us ridiculous. And then we get to recruit with all of the shit. I mean, LSU's only a three-star, but we're right next to Texas. We're right next to Florida. We're right next to Georgia. Not right next, but we're very close to Georgia. So recruiting would be stupid good there. So, I mean, we could step out of Oregon and go right to LSU and start winning Natty's year one. Pitt would be a good team to win Natty's with. Anybody else? Miami would be fun, but they're not going to fire their coach. Arkansas, we could win Natty's there, but they're not going to fire their coach. But, yeah. So, let's do the depth chart thing so we don't lose players, and then we'll decide if we're going to stick around or not. I mean, I am I want to stay, but if you guys really want me to go somewhere else, we can, we can go somewhere else. But I would rather stay here, to be honest. All right, let me go back to my depth chart. All right, so we have sophomore, freshman, junior, freshman. So sophomore, freshman, junior. So let's let this red shirt. I'm sorry, yeah. This guy's the best quarterback we have, I think. There, and we're going to put flash there. Halfback. We have this 81, 95 speed red shirt freshman. He's a freshman. Why it's a sophomore. Nope, nope. Miller. There we go. So he's 98, 99 with the coach points. 95, 95, and we just brought in a 96. George is our only fullback. Paid receiver. Let's go this red shirt here. Seventy-five red shirt, Sergio Monroe, freshman, eighty sophomore. Where is he? Lovey Dovey. Must be the seventy-seven. I think we already have Captain Jack there. Yeah, he's the freshman. Okay, good, good, good. Seventy-five. Yes. All right. Tight end. 76 tight end. There he is. Johnson. Is that the junior? No, I didn't want the I didn't want the junior. Where's the tight end? I want Daryl. I want Hughes player right here. Alright, you're first. Good, good, good. Left tackle. Freshman. Junior guard, we've got 81 sophomore, 73 freshman. We're going to flip these two. All right, center, sophomore. We have a 78 freshman red shirt. And then we're going to flip Nichols and Daniel. All right, right guard. We have a 78 and a 75. <clears throat> All right, right tackle. <clears throat> 78 sophomore. 
I'm going to throw in this right guard as well. Keep this guy from leaving. Left end. <clears throat> Spectre, we're going to take you out because I want to get this freshman there. And then we'll bring you... No. 83... this left end why am i doing he's a junior he's a freshman junior all right right end sophomore willie to pimp with the 80 bad leroy brown kyle garrett 74 Freshman being redshirted. Left outside linebacker. <clears throat> 79 freshman. And then the 82 sophomore middle. 77 freshman. Poker. All right, good to go there. Right outside, we got to put the 79 freshman. And then Ikea comes next. Corner. Red shirt. Got to do this whole exercise to keep these guys from leaving. Sophomore, free safety is a 72. Strong safety. Kicker, punter, we're good to go. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna save. And then we'll advance. All right, so you guys in chat, let me know. Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to go to LSU or Pitt or North Carolina? I mean, the best teams are LSU and Pitt. So do you want me to leave and go to another school? Or do you want me to stay here and get three in a row? All right. Because this is what we're looking at. We've lost three games in four years. Should have won an Addy that year, and we didn't. Oh, I can leave and go somewhere else. I mean, all the red are national championships. So every single year, except the first year at Texas Tech, every year, every single year, we've won our conference. So winning the conference is not a problem. Winning the natty is the problem. Only, only two times in my entire coaching career did we not win our conference. <laughs> so conference is not a problem. It's we're hunting natties. So, um, <clears throat> hit the wrong screen there. Look at stats real quick before we book out of here. So he fell just shy, 17 yards shy of 4,000 yards, and that's because he was left-handed at the start of the season, and that's why we played Abrams. Almost 1,700 yards. He easily would have had 1,800 yards if he doesn't get hurt in the natty. But he got his, he got his Heisman. We'll look at these stats before we go. Specta, 26 TFLs, 17 sacks. Let's look at our career stats, just in case we decide to book out of here. My uh, dad's wife was a cheerleader at LSU in the uh, 80s. She's two years older than me, so. These are career stats.
Look at Specta, 101 tackles, 99 solo, 65 TFLs, 38 sacks. So, I mean, this team is fucking loaded. I mean, look, let's look at the recruiting because I only need a few guys left on this list. I need a guard and a tight end, basically. I need this guy. I need all three of these guys. That's all I have left. I'm putting 5,000 points and we'll get all three of these guys. All right. This is the kicker that we just got. So he has 96 kick power as a freshman. So I redshirt him one year and he's 99 kick power every year. And we have a punter with 87 kick power. We have this running back with 96 speed. We have this DN that nobody wanted and they gave to us. We have this DN that nobody wanted and they gave to us. 93 speed, 88 man cover. There's another defensive end nobody wanted. I mean, you know how we recruit. We didn't. We only had seven seniors, and I only needed 11 recruits. We actually over recruited because we we're trying to make sure we get covered at middle linebacker. But so. <clears throat> We are actually what I need to do is let's go check the uh, recruiting for these schools for LSU and Pitt and Carolina. I don't need a depth chart. It's not what I needed. Let's look at the top classes. How are they recruiting? Look at Iowa without us. Right, let's scroll down. Texas Tech still kicking ass. Mizzou is doing well. Mm hmm. Because we'd have to finish off their class. So here's Pitt. Nothing spectacular. North Carolina, three one stars. They have an 80 defense. They're two and ten. They're definitely firing their coach. Mississippi State's one I wanted to go to, but they're not going to fire their coach. Um, LSU. I haven't seen them yet. Have you? Have you seen? Look at Ohio State. My God, that's terrible. Here's LSU. They only have three signed recruits. Oh, my God. Three guys. We would have so much work to do this offseason to finish their recruiting class. Three guys. Wow. They're going to drop to a two-star. Wow, they've only signed three guys. And we only need three guys. Let's go. Let's check it out. I'm telling you right now that tequila's kicked in because all I've had cereal this morning for breakfast, so I didn't have a uh, very big breakfast. <laughs> These are all the points you get for winning all those awards. First team all conference. We have 15 guys made first team all conference. Six more guys made second team all conference. Here, you want to know a hack for your coach? If you want to increase your coach's points in a very simple way, is put your team independent and move all the other independent teams to a conference, and you'll get all the first and second team all conference players, and you'll get a bunch of cheap ass points for your team, for your head coach. Your entire team will be first and second team all conference, and you get 50 points per player for all second team, and 75 points per player for first team. So, if you want to increase your uh, coach points really quick with a cheap hack, go um, independent and move everybody else to a conference so you're the only team. That is a ridiculously cheesy way to upgrade your head coach. There we go. Look at this. We just signed a seven-year extension. Look what they were before we got here. All right, boys and girls. Here we go. Georgia, their coach retired. <laughs> we could go there and win four natties in a row. Kirby Smart retired. Mike Nichols was fired. We could go there. 
So LSU is a LSU is a most definite. Arkansas is not going to fire their coach. All right, so let's go through this because I saved. So let's let's skip. Can we take this job? No. <clears throat> Skip to my next offer. Georgia hired the head coach from Maryland. Now Maryland needs a head coach, and we're number one. They went 10-3 and three in the ACC. I wouldn't have a problem with Maryland. They have great uniforms. We'll add them to the list. LSU. Maryland would hire us. They're not bad. Doesn't want to give us LSU. Got to advance to next week. Florida international head coach went to Maryland. All right. So you going to give me this option? Yep. We could go to LSU. Look at LSU. Look at all those. A lot of, lot of peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. We could go to LSU. Look at my record. 277 and 15. We're 61 and 1 against rivals. 114 and 5 against top 25. 20 and 2 in our bowl games. So we definitely could take LSU. Uh, Pitt, we're number one on theirs. We could go to Pitt. We got to advance a week to get the Pitt job. We've had a couple of really good seasons, three good seasons since the start. <clears throat> LSU signed uh, San Diego State's coach. So. Yeah, we're number one on their list, so it should give us the option to sign here. Yep, we can take Pitt. Vanderbilt wants us. We're not going to Vanderbilt. Um, Michigan State wants us. There you go. Evie Macon would be happy with that. Yeah, Michigan State is, look how bad they've been. Wow. They have seven wins in the last four years. Wow. I don't want to go back to the Big Ten. That's the problem. Yeah, San Diego State. BYU, but that's the same same conference we're in already. What's the point? North Carolina, are they gonna let us? We're not in the top three. They would let us go to North Carolina. Look at that, 0 and 12, 2 and 10, 2 and 10. Man, this team is garbage. They haven't had a winning record since 2023. So they were really good at the start, and they fell off completely. Look at that. They had one winning season, two winning seasons. Two winning seasons. And they were both 7-6 and six since 2020. It's funny right now, they have really good uniforms, though. Yeah, we're not going to Florida International. We will never go to Fresno. Fuck Fresno. Not going to South Alabama. Cincinnati. Since he wants us. That would make Nasty Natty and Cincy happy.
What have they done? Wow. They did good early, and then from 2021 on, they've only had three winning seasons, four winning seasons. Wow, 16 years with only four wins. We're not going to Coastal. Definitely not going to Iowa State. Not going to Utah. We're already in the same conference. I would just stay at Oregon for another year. I really don't want to go to uh, Tulane. Don't want to go to Duke. No to App State. No to East Carolina. Yeah, we're not going to be an offensive coordinator. Not going to uh, U.S. Uh, Boise wants us. I don't want to play in that blue field all the fucking time. Plus, I don't want to play in the Mountain West. We lost our defensive coordinator. That sucks. We took the head coaching job at BYU. Spectre, we're just looking. Right now, the teams that are available are North Carolina, Pitt, LSU, Maryland, Michigan State, BYU, and Cincy. Not going to ULM. We've already done that. So right now we're just looking. I, I, I would rather stay for another year, one more year. Yeah, we're not going to Wyoming. Fuck Wyoming. I'm perfectly content to stay one more year at Oregon, so it's not a, a crucial thing that we have to leave. We're not going to Utah State. Georgia State. We're not going there. I don't want to go to those low, low uh, conferences. Temple. One and eleven. Yeah, probably would get more offers next year, but the, the quality of the offers this year are pretty good. I mean, North Carolina, Pitt, LSU, Maryland, Michigan State. I don't want to go to Michigan State. Cincinnati. I mean, we've, we've got some really good schools to choose from if we want to go somewhere else. Um, so my opinion is I'd rather stay. Um, you guys tell me what you wanted me to do. You want me to go to North Carolina, Pitt, LSU, Maryland, Cincinnati? I'm knocking off Michigan State and BYU just because I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to stay in the conference and go to another school. And I don't want to go to Big Ten. So we can stay one more year, um, and we'll have other schools. I will leave after next year. We're not going to go. Um, if we win three in a row, that's good. That would actually be four in a row if I hadn't fucked up that one season. So we're, we're in really good shape. We're not even to a 99 overall team yet. <clears throat> so <clears throat> you guys want me to stay? I see two votes for stay. I mean, LSU would be SEC. North Carolina Pitt would be ACC. I think I moved Maryland to the ACC as well. Since he would be the American, that would be too easy. If I move, I'd rather go to the ACC or the SEC. Um, so. 
I know Spectre wants me to stay because he wants me to, to stay with his guy and get one more year in. So we have really good options. Um, I think it's going to give me the option to look at the other schools. So let's stay. I mean, I have good options, and I would really like to play at some point with North Carolina. Um, I think we should stay. Let's go. Let's get this offseason done. I'm losing viewers right and left because we're dilly-dallying around. <laughs> Everybody's leaving. They're bailing. They're going to watch USN play games. I went from 18 down to 9. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch me just sit here and talk. Hey, our defensive coordinator. Remember our DC was only... He was a level 1 last year. So we, we have a... Uh, we have a level 20 now DC, so that'll help. Look, we're maxed out on the O. We're going to win a natty. Who's leaving early? Yeah, they have great uniforms. Gibbons, fifth round. No, you're staying. The guy opposite you, he's staying. Left tackle, seventh round. I don't think so. He's staying. This wide receiver is transferring. 75 wide receiver. Why did I not... 75. I moved him up the depth chart. It's okay. We won't we won't miss him. We can replace him. It's not a big deal. Our tight end's going in the sixth. Holmes is going in the seventh. Our guard's going in the seventh. See, we don't have a ton of 90 overall guys graduating. And this guy wants to leave. Let's see if he'll stay. So they're saying, he's basically saying I have to start him. And I've got a junior, a senior, a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, and a sophomore all ahead of him. So we're just going to say he's going to catch 40 passes. Did he stay? No, he's gone. He's transferring. All right, fine. Get the fuck out of here. So we lost a freshman wide receiver. Whatever. We're not going to get anybody transferring in. What's our draft? Three guys got drafted. Well, I might have even uh, recruited a uh, wide receiver, and I don't remember. We're sticking around. We're going to play one more year. I wanted to go to Oregon so bad, so now we're here, and we'll get our five years, and then we'll leave. All right, this is where we drop five grand on each guy, and we get all of them. Unless they put ten grand on them, we're going to get all of these guys. And I might revise this to, uh, we need this tight end because we have a senior, a junior, and a sophomore. So we really need this tight end. So we might, we might up this to 6,000. We'll see. Yeah. Northern North Carolina has great uniforms. I love their all blue. There's another 5,000. Somebody might drop 10,000 on one of these guys if they really need them. If we don't get the middle linebacker, it's not the end of the world. 
And the same thing with the guard. We're, we're okay if we don't get this guard, but I really need that tight end. What's up, Tom? How you doing? Welcome in. So let's drop him to 4,500. Drop him to 55, and we'll go. Last night was a good night. Yeah, what'd you do? Did you do anything special on the holiday? All right, let's save here, because we haven't saved since we got through the uh, coach carousel. So we'll save here. We'll lock in that we're staying at Oregon. We can't change our mind. We're off to Oregon for one more year. I will have to adjust our schedule to make sure we play some really tough teams. We only have three non-conference games. So, friends came over. That's cool. Good, good. Yeah, I had my uh, my two sons and their uh, wife and kids and fiance. I came over. Our daughter was in town. So, we had a good day. <clears throat> all right. Let's advance. Cross your fingers. We get all three. Went three yellow names on the screen. But if we only get one, it needs to be the tight end. We're going to finish up uh, this recruiting. We're going to set our depth charts and our uh, red shirts. I'm going to set our schedule. And we'll go into the uh, recruiting page. And uh, look at who wants to come here. Um, I'll have to update my uh, spreadsheet here. One second. While this is updating, I'm going to do the spreadsheet. Didn't get the middle linebacker. That sucks. Well, that's okay because we we uh, we have a replacement for him already in the uh, in the class. So that's okay. It's not ideal, but it's okay. We did get the uh, guard and we did get the uh, tight end. I really needed the tight end. So could have been worse. All right, so get my spreadsheet ready to go. All you gotta do is start typing shit in. Cool, cool, cool. Good for you, Q. Glad to see that. All right, so we got a bunch of guys added that we didn't need. Um, so we're gonna have to adjust this. So this is our recruiting class. Thank God we got the tight end. So this is the guy that's gonna be a 99 kicker after we leave. Stud running back after we leave. We, we're going to leave this team. This guy's getting cut, and this guy's going to middle linebacker. <clears throat> so it said we signed 18 guys. I don't need that many. We get four five stars, nine four stars, three, four three stars, and a two star. So we have extra guys we didn't need. Look, this Texas Tech did pretty good. Ole Miss, USC. Maryland, man, we would have gone into that recruiting class. Holy shit. What did, uh, where's LSU? Remember LSU only had three, three stars signed. There's North Carolina, six, one stars. Ugh. Look at Alabama. They're an 81 overall. Right, I'm sorry. They're 91 overall, but they're a three-star school. Four one-stars, like they would ever sign a one-star. All right, so LSU rebound a little bit. Got a four-star. They got seven more three-stars, but then they got three twos and three ones. That's terrible. Yeah, they all suck at this point. Let's advance. 
Yeah, we we beat Washington. What was the score? We beat Washington seventy to seventeen. We beat Washington State fifty two to twenty four. <laughs> Do I have any athletes that were recruited? I think one of them. I think one of them's a quarterback. Let's see. Roll power. One's a running back and one should be a quarterback. Nope. This is the quarterback. 87 throw power quarterback who has 93 elusive. And this guy, remember, 87 speed. We did not recruit this guy. This was somebody the computer threw on our team. What is this guy? Yeah, we did not recruit this guy at all. So. We're going to put this pot. I did not recruit Malcolm Hughes. 74 overall athlete. Yeah, there's no way I recruited an 87 speed. I'm going to put him at quarterback so I remember to cut his ass. All right, this quarterback, this pocket passer is getting cut because we're going to have three guys that have already been red-shirted, and this guy's getting red-shirted. So this guy's getting cut, and this guy's getting cut. All right. Halfback. He'll get red-shirted. He'll graduate. He's a backup, backup, backup. Need a fullback. Gonna need three wide receivers, especially since we have this 82 that we didn't put on the team. So next year we'll have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're gonna need like three wide receivers. A tight end, a fullback. He's a 79. 79. 78. Yeah, let's move this guy to uh, right tackle. Sophomore, sophomore, freshman. Move him to right guard. Move him to center. Good to go there. Good to go there. All right. Left end. Senior, sophomore, senior, freshman, right end. Yeah. This senior might get cut. And this senior might get cut. Why am I going to tackle? Um, sophomore. We tackle. This guy's getting cut. Need a couple of D tackles. Senior, junior, freshman, freshman. Junior, freshman, senior, freshman. Middle. So. get red shirted 
we we'll get red shirted. Let's kick him to the left outside. Actually, we don't need to. Let's leave him at right outside. Middle's fine. He's fine. He'll get red shirted. Corner, we're good. Everybody's in the 90s and the speed. Free safety, we're good. Strong safety, we're fine. 69 overall strong safety. Yeah, we're going to have to get a new strong safety. <clears throat> All right, here's the kicker and the punter. So we already have a 99. And this guy's going to be a 99 after we redshirt him. Punter. Ninety kick power, ninety nine accuracy. He'll get red. This guy gets red shirted. All right, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> I just skip training results because we'll see all that shit when we go to the next page and make our cuts. So there's no point in uh, wasting time in the <clears throat> on the uh, training page. All right, how many guys do we need to cut? We need to cut more than I anticipated because the computer added players. 11 guys. Why would they add all those players to the team? All right. This senior's going away. This freshman's going away because he was a guy we didn't sign. So these guys are going to play. This guy's going to get red shirted. Look at that. We have a 90 speed quarterback. 88 speed, 88 speed. Halfback. Starter, back up, back up, back up. This guy gets red shirted. <clears throat> I mean, shit. This guy could get cut <laughs> and it wouldn't be a problem. Because we have 99, 96, 96. We might, we might cut this guy. We might cut this running back. He's got the worst speed, the worst acceleration, the worst agility. I don't need his awareness because we're running him. So we may cut Wyatt. Yeah, this guy's going away. It's always We can always get wide receivers. Good, good, good. So he'll get red-shirted. He'll play, he'll play, he'll play. Still need a tight end. Good there. Good there. Fine there. Still have eight guys to go. We can go recruit another one. So Cannon's going away. Don't need that senior. Don't need that senior either. We're fine on there. Six guys to go. Five guys to go. Four guys to go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Senior Moss goes. Three guys to go. Wyatt's going away. Two guys to go. He's a 79. Get there, get there, get there. End is there. Senior, sophomore, freshman. Tackle. Yeah, we did not recruit this guy. One guy to go.
We're going to cut this strong safety and go get another one. All right, we're good. We can get a better strong safety. We'll be another star level up. Um, so we should be able to get guys we want. any Almost anybody we want. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to have to... Uh, take forever to put this board together so give me a second guys once we're done putting this board together then we'll uh we'll we'll go look at the uh, recruits because i need to know where the holes are before we start looking at them i'd say those of you that know me we probably got another 45 minutes to an hour if i can keep it to 45 that would be great Make a nice, even four hour stream. Yeah, I don't need to reset my coaches. My coaches are fine. We don't need to do custom conferences or tie ins. Let's go. We already set. We have a maxed out OC and pretty close to max out DC. So we're going to get all kinds of uh, bonuses from the coaches. So we're going to, uh, we're going to roll through this next season. Uh, the biggest thing is going to be setting our schedule. Um, we could even let the CPU recruit for us. We don't even have to put another recruiting class together, but I'll I'll set these guys up so they don't have any holes and uh, get on to next year. I will be, I'm telling you right now, I'll be back tomorrow to start this season. I want to get through this season just as quickly. Let me save this right here so we don't lose everything that we just did. And then we'll save it again when we go in and look at the recruits. And those of you that don't know the trick, the quarterback got hurt again. Spectre, that sucks, man. Well, that's why I always carry four. Three active and one red shirt. All right. We'll do schedule after we go in and look. I have uh, DLC for an extra pipeline state. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go Texas. I'm staying at Oregon for this year, and then we'll uh, go to a new team next year. All right, so we have Washington, Oregon, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, California, Texas, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, Ohio. Michigan. Those are those are all of our. Uh, I got to move this over because. Damn. Hold on a second. What's that? That's a lot of. Uh, a lot of pipelines so now we need to go do our red shirts all right so this is what we're going to do we're going to be on this for a little bit because i have to type this in so so jumping jack is already a 99 overall as a junior So because we have, next year we'll have senior, junior, sophomore, freshman. So we don't need to get them a quarterback. So we don't have to get a quarterback. We're good to go at quarterback. Halfback. So Miller, the Heisman Trophy winner, is the senior. And then the guy, Moody, that was our backup, is going to be our backup, along with Richardson. Richardson will actually be number two. He'll be number three. 49er George will be number four. And this guy is going to get red-shirted. All right, fullback. We do need a fullback. So we're going to need one halfback, one fullback.
We need three wide receivers, which is not a problem. Wide receivers are so easy to get. And why do I need three? Because I have a senior and two juniors. So I need to find all the replacements. Everybody's going to play. We don't have anybody being redshirted. So three wide receivers. That'll make it fun for recruiting, won't it? We'll be able to go after some serious fucking studs at wide receiver. All right. Tight end. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, red shirt, freshman. So we do need a tight end because we have a senior and a junior. We're going to lose one, and we need to get the replacement for the junior this year. All right, left tackle. We have a junior and a sophomore, so we need a, uh, a tackle. At least one tackle. Um, going to need one guard, because this freshman's getting redshirted. Anytime I have a, a starter that is a, a junior, we go get his replacement a year before, so we need a guard. Center, we don't need at all. And um, these guys will be the backups along the offensive line as well. They can go get their own center next year. A sophomore freshman. Senior, junior, freshman who's being redshirted. All right, so two tackles. Only three offensive linemen, that's nice. Oops, hold a sec. Left end. Need one, because we got Specta going to graduate. Specta, if we had red-shirted you one year, you would have been a 99 this year. But you're not going to be. So we need a defensive end. It'll probably be a 99 with the coach bonuses. Big 12, yeah. So the Pac-12 is just going to go away. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. All right, so we only need one D end because we already have plenty on the other side. For depth purposes and spreading out the class, we're only going to redshirt one of those DNs. Yeah, Big 12 is supposed to go away, and now they're going to get all those teams from the... They're going to get Cincinnati and all of them and all the teams from... Colorado coming back doesn't surprise me. Well, you know, if you move those Arizona teams and Oregon and Utah, Washington, all of a sudden then, then, then the Big 12 becomes actually um, a pretty viable conference with all those teams. So... Considering all this shit that's going on, that's not the worst thing in the world, but it's, uh, I just wish they would quit fucking with the tradition and messing with this garbage. It's just maddening. So, so D tackle one.
Yeah. Well, Washington State and Oregon State are not that good compared to the other ones, so they can go to the Mountain West, right? <laughs> Step down. All right. Definitely need an outside linebacker, maybe two. We have to do all of this homework, as George likes to call it, to uh, get ready to uh, put our board together. So if you haven't what um, sat through this with me, sorry it takes, takes so long, but that's just the way we do things around here. I don't necessarily need a middle linebacker because we've got seniors are going to graduate, but we have junior freshmen, freshmen. So I can, I can, they can go get one themselves next year. So I'm not going to put a middle linebacker because we're actually in pretty good shape. And we actually don't need another outside on this side because we have three. They can get another one next year. We'll redshirt this guy. So it looks like we only need one linebacker, which is good because they take a lot of points to go get. Corner. Corner's a different story. Corner, one, two, three, four, five. We'll get two corners. scroll too far on my spreadsheet one second here yeah, you're gonna be red shirted good there Cox gets red shirted we'll get two corners that should be easy to find free safety I'm so tempted to redshirt this dude and play the senior. Except his awareness is so high. I don't want to redshirt the senior. So we'll just leave it alone. So he's 90. So we're gonna need a free, uh, free safety. That's fine, let's go free safety. Gonna need a strong safety as well. Yeah. Maybe two. could throw two because we're, we're going to have a punter and a kicker that get get uh, taken off the depth chart next year but we're going to be gone anyway so it don't matter so we'll throw them a bone and give them an extra one nope not you 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 get red shirted and you get red shirted all right almost ready so 97 85 this team in great shape to dominate we may have to come back and play these guys once we go somewhere else all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve seniors so twelve seniors one two five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen six seventeen so we're gonna get a class of like seventeen Here, this is what I'm looking at. All right, 
So this is what we're looking at. This is our, uh, this is Jumpin' Jack Flash. So we'll have two more years, this year and next. Got our good backups, we don't need a quarterback. We got a senior and then we got a bunch of underclass. We need one more running back, we need a fullback to redshirt, they can redshirt after this guy goes pro. Three wide receivers to replace these three guys. A tight end to replace him. Tackle here and here. So two tackles, one guard, because we have a junior. <coughs> uh, no defensive end. Well, one. One D end, because we have two seniors. So I like to carry six, so we just need one. D tackle, we just need one. Um, outside linebacker, we just need his replacement. Middle linebacker, we don't need. Need two corners to redshirt while those guys are seniors. Uh, free safety to replace him, because he'll be a senior next year. Two strong safeties. So basically, this kicker and punter are going to be over here to replace these guys. So that's what we need. Let's write this down. Back one. Pull back one. Receiver three. Right in one. Tackle two. Guard one. End one. D tackle one. Outside linebacker one. Cornerback two, free safety one, wrong safety two. So, 12 seniors, 17 recruits. Good to go. All right. Back to live cam. That's taken care of. Let's go set our depth chart real quick. What is our throw power over here? Yeah, we're good there. Halfback. Forty nine George will be our third this time. Fullback is fine. Wide receiver. Don't need that, so. Junior, senior, freshman. So Captain Jack's getting knocked down. Why is he getting knocked down? So let's put Captain Jack up here in place of Williams. Kenny's 98. So let's put the 98 speed guy on the outside. Ninety-six, ninety-one. Alright, good to go. Tight end is fine. Tackle, guard, center. <clears throat> Left end. Right end. The tackle. Left, middle, right. All right, corners are fine. Speed is really good, fine. Free safety. Strong safety, kicker, punter, punter, kick return. All right. So let's not put two starters there. We'll go with a little bit less speed to not have him run so many back. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, guys. All right. Got the depth, got the red shirt, got the pipeline. Custom schedules I'll do here in just a minute. So let me save this one more time. And then we'll go uh, look at our recruits. And uh, we're going to look at the uh, championship contenders page first. So we can set our schedule and then we'll do the recruits.
here it is broke. I have a thing that slides out, will rest my leg on, and it just snapped. Plastic snapped. Well, that sucks. Respawn, your chair fucking broke. So the uh, thing that slides out that I can rest my leg on, just uh, that plastic was cheap as shit and it just broke. So uh, now I have to uh, put my leg in an uncomfortable position. Wow. That sucks. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I move my trash can over here. All right. So this is where you go under my school championship contender. Look, we're almost all A's. And this is where you can uh, go look at what the uh, ratings are for all the teams before you go schedule um, guys on your schedule. Yeah. All right. Look at Iowa. How bad they drop off after we left. Army. Look at Army. Good God. Look at Texas a and about to fall off a cliff. Tennessee. There you go. Hey. We might have to play Tennessee, uh, Rocky Top, so we can get their coach fired. We're already going to play USC. Look at Nebraska. Wisconsin's doing really well. Georgia. Texas Tech. Look at Northern Illinois. They play in the natty and then they're just going to go whoop, off the cliff. Minnesota, Alabama. I'm looking at teams that could lose their coach that we could go take over. Here's Oklahoma. Clemson, Ole Miss. Arkansas, get their head coach fired. We could go there. Texas, hey, revamp. We could go to Texas if they fire their coach, man. All right, so... Let's write this shit down. So, Iowa, Notre Dame, Army, Texas A&M, Michigan, Tennessee, Ohio State. Just played Ohio State because I really don't want to play them. Um, Nebraska, man, we played them so many when we were at Texas Tech and Mizzou. We play Wisconsin. Play our old school at Texas Tech. All right, we got a bunch of options. Let's go. We'll come back to the recruiting here in a minute. I want to get the schedule set first. Eh, not playing those three teams. All right. So anybody in the top 10? Top 10 teams. Iowa. Michigan. Notre Dame. Iowa, Michigan, Notre Dame. Army, Iowa, Michigan, Notre Dame, 
So we can play Iowa, Michigan, Notre Dame. We could throw in Army just to have something different. But it would take away one of the others. Um, so we could play... Not play Iowa. And play Michigan, Notre Dame, Army. Something like this. <clears throat> way, way home, home. Home, home. Way, way home, home. Three home games, three away games. One of them's got to be on the road. We're going to play five road games. Four out of five games on the road to start the season. Wow. <clears throat> at Army, at Michigan, home against Notre Dame. We could do that. Four road games. Five home games in a row here. One away. Three, one, two, three. What a weird schedule. <laughs> we can make this a, uh, we can make this a You could go to Lincoln Financial, neutral site. Because we're not going to have anybody visit. Let's go with that. I think we're going to go with that. So we'll start the season with four teams in the top ten. this down so I can do my schedule. Hold on one sec. How many home games do I have? One, two, three, four, five in a row. Four, six, and four. Six and five, six and six, yeah, okay. I forgot BYU. That's what it is. At BYU. Home, four away, one, two, three. Five home, that's six and four, then two, six and six. All right, here we go. All right, let's check this recruiting board now. So, Four and five star guys. We're the top school. For Thirteen guys. Yeah, Bad Moon. Uh, let me go look.
We are uh, preseason number one, and we're 99s across the board, yes. So we finally got to 99s. And what are those teams? Hold on. The teams that we just added to the board, to the schedule. So the Notre Dame only has an 88 defense. Army has a 97 defense. Michigan has a 92 defense. USC is on the schedule. They have an 88 defense. Yeah, Rocky, I should have played Tennessee, but I'd, I'd rather knock those other teams off. All right, went four and five stars only. Let's go top three schools instead of just one. So now we have 28 guys, almost enough to fill our board. Out of conference is uh, Army, Michigan, and Notre Dame. So we start the season with a home home game that is uh, a non-conference or a neutral site game. So we're going to go play Army at Lincoln Field, and that's a home game. And then we're going to go to Michigan, go to Notre Dame, go to USC, week off, go to BYU, home games of UCLA, Utah, Stanford, and Cal, and Washington State, five in a row. And then we go to Washington and go to Oregon State. So the second half of the season, we have all of those weeks where we can have visits. <laughs> so we have no visits available for recruits until one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, week eight. And there's really not much I can do about it. So we'll, all of our visits are gonna get pushed off. So it'll give us plenty of time to get leads on these guys. Right, so we'll throw these two guys on. We only need one. Pull back, I have it listed to four stars. So we'll have to go back and look at under four star. We have a five star wide receiver. 446 speed. We're number one. Take him. Not taking him. Take him. Him and him. And not him. Tight end. Tackle. We need one, two. So put him on the board. No guard, no centers. These are only four and five star guys. We only need one D end. Need one D tackle. Outside line directors don't have. Middle we don't need. Corners. We need three of the, two of those. Free and strong. All right. One there. Two there. Four seven. No. Don't need to kick her upon her. Athlete. Number one in this guy's list. What is he? Looks like a running back, but he's not very elusive. We don't need him to play quarterback, so I think I'll, I would rather find somebody else. We do not need a quarterback. This guy's a quarterback. I don't need him. This guy looks like he's a wide receiver, but he's not anything special. So let's drop this down to three stars so we can maybe pull in a tight end or a... Uh, and these are top three. I haven't even looked at the top ten. All right. Don't need a quarterback. Got two running backs. Take the fullback. Sixty-eight. Sixty-three. Sixty-eight. 61. Throw both of those guys on there because they're at 400 bench and 600 squat. Um, need one guard. Don't like him. And then we're actually okay if we don't get a guard. Don't need a center. Defensive end. Two guys on the board there. The rest of these guys are garbage. 
D tackle. Just need one of these guys. Yeah, I'll throw him on, but I think he's going to go down. We're going to have to low lock these linebackers. These guys are terrible. Or we can expand it to the top 10. Now let's take this down to the top 10. Now we have 119 guys. So, all right, back to running backs. Still only have two, so we can look at low locks after week one. He is slow. We'll be putting a lot of points on this guy. He's a better player. He's faster. He's stronger, both in squad and bench. All right, so we're fifth on this guy. He's a five-star wide receiver. We'll throw him on the board. We need three of these guys, and wide receiver is always good for uh, slipping through on low lock. We'll take this guy. We kick him into guard. Don't like either one of those guys. Could always kick a center out to guard, so let's throw him on there just for shits and giggles. Throw him on there. We only need one DN, so we don't need to go wild. Uh, we got three D tackles. We do not need another one really. We'll throw this guy on there because he's a five star. We're hating life on the linebackers, man. We just need one. Um, let's throw this guy. And this guy on the board, we can kick him to the outside corners. Four star. This is 75. 74. This guy could play free. All right, so we get four athletes now. All right, what's Mike Gray? Looks like he's a running back to me. This is the guy I looked at before. I wasn't too impressed. Look at this guy. 405 on his bench. This guy looks like a running back as well. It's a quarterback. Could play running back. He's not very elusive. Looks like a power back. This guy looks like he could be an offensive lineman. Let's throw him on the board just to see what he is. God, he's not a defensive player. It's got to be an offensive lineman. Throw him on the board. See if I can find another outside linebacker. I like this dude right here. Right. 
80 overall tackle. All right. We're going to come back and uh, remove some of these other jokers on the board and throw some of these high overalls on here. Give me a second. this center and we're gonna go throw another player on the board here We're done. We got our initial board. So let's go scout. I'm going to move these guys around so I got them all in by correct positions so that when we're uh, looking at them, good. And we'll scout. We'll advance the week one. We'll scout again, see where we stand, and then we'll call it a day. Because it's almost 1.30. I need to eat lunch. You guys usually don't get to see me do this, so uh, we uh, get get you a little bonus bonus coverage here, as I say. Get that tight end, we can change his name to Johnny B. Good. Okay, was uh, okay, it looks like he's an offensive lineman, so we'll put him up here with the tackles. This is another guy that looks like he's a pullback or a tackle. We'll stick him up here with these guys and. This stud goes to the top of the tackle list. Probably won't get him, but <clears throat> he's at least worth scouting to see what he looks like. All right, let's scout. Advanced week one, finish scouting, see what's going on. 92 speed running back, 92 elusive, 92 juke, 74 carry. 94 XL, yeah, definitely works. 89 speed, not quite as um, fast, but he, he's more powerful. 90 speed, not bad. Fullback, 82 speed fullback. 
94 speed wide receiver with 85 route running and 77 catching. Yeah, the first half of the season is going to be tough. 88 speed, 90 speed. Ooh. He's going to get cut. We'll find a replacement. Probably need another tight end on the list. And those tackles didn't go up as much as I thought they would. 74. All right, this guy's a 74. 67 speed. So he's either a defensive tackle or an offensive lineman. And his tackle is 40. His block shedding is 40. Finesse is 35. Power. This guy is an offensive lineman. It looks like he's a tackle. That's how you find offensive linemen at the athletes. This is the same thing. 61 speed with 94 excel. 67 tackle. Block shed, finesse, and power sucks. Here's another offensive lineman. I'm going to stop there and go find me another tight end. Give me one second here. We're just going to go straight to tight end. <clears throat> yeah, Rocky Top, that was the point. Make the beginning of the season really tough. And uh, what is my pitch? Well, shit. Marcus Bell. Marcus Bell and Eddie Cooper. Who are we competing with here? These are almost... Oh, man. Well, shit. We can either go after this guy and face all of those guys, or we can go after... Where is he? This guy. He's facing a bunch of baby back schools. So you know what we're going to do. We're going to throw this guy on the board. He runs a 4'6". He's got 420 on his bench, 340 in the squat. So he's going to be a good tight end. So we'll, uh, we'll go scout him. And then we'll advance the week and finish scouting and do some offers and then call it a day. I'll finish up the rest of week one off screen. All right, he's a 73. He's our, our stop gap. Might even be number one. Top schools were not on his list. We're at the bottom of his list. Yeah, Eddie Cooper is probably the tight end we're going to get. What are you giggling for, Q? Here's our schedule again. What, Q? Yeah, look at that. Look at all those road games. Four straight road games, and then we have five straight home games. Making a new moat, you making the inches? <laughs> it's gonna say inches. <laughs> All right, let's start this season. <clears throat> Everything's locked in, recruiting board, schedule. Um, Here we go. Should be our last year at uh, Oregon, and then we're out of there. Go somewhere else. <clears throat> so while that updates, here's our roster again. So we got a 99 overall quarterback, 93 uh, senior running back that has 99 speed, 49er George is an 88 fullback, 
Um, a lot of speed here, good tight ends. This is UQ right here, this sophomore 82. Um, good offensive line. Specced as a 95, straight 95 as a, a four-year senior. Um, 90s, a couple of 90s at linebacker. We got three 90s at corner, 90 free safety, and 90 strong safety. We got excellent punter and kicker. We're 99 overall, 99 offense, 99 defense. So we're, we're in good shape. Ended up with eight preseason All-Americans, 12 preseason All-Conference. Only found one gym, and we are ranked number two. So let's look at the polls real quick. They've got Iowa at number one, which is bogus because, look, we're an A+. Plus. They're not even 99 overall. Why are we number two? That's bullshit. We're going to play these guys and these guys and these guys and these guys. So our first four games are against top ten teams. Scroll to the bottom and see who the uh, shit teams are. It's not going to let me sort. <clears throat> Who's getting fired? 126. Let me see. Any big schools are going to lose their coach. They just got a new one. They just got a new one. Eh. Hey, yes, uh, we could we could follow a revamp and go to SMU. Michigan State just got a new one. Cincinnati got a new one. I'm telling you right now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna say it right now. What the fuck are they? If they fire their coach, we're going to Texas. End of discussion. Get in here, finish uh, scouting these guys, offer the ones that are number one, see if we get any insta commits. Yeah, there's an 81 outside linebacker. These in numerical order. All right. <clears throat> Schools that we are number one. Do we get any insta commits? Let's do it this way instead so I can tell. All right, no insta commits. All right, I'm not going to bore you with all the points that I put on here because it's kind of I need to take some time to go through and figure this out. So we're just going to stop right here. I will put points on the guys I want, and I'll advance the week. And next stream, which will be tomorrow, you guys will come in here, and you'll see what happens after I advance the week. So let me save this. Um. Because we'll have to uh, spend a lot of time going through 
and finding replacements for the guys that um, we drop a whole lot of points behind. So um, I might very well put the points on there, advance the week, see what happens, make my cuts, and bring you back in and show you what I found just to save time. So it, it, it'll eat up at least an hour of a stream, and anybody who doesn't really want to watch that won't have to watch it. So, All right, well, that was good. We got our natty. Thank you, everybody who came by and watched. Let's see who we're going to go raid. Yeah, we're going to go raid Man Cave Hawkeye. So uh, get that raid going. And uh, when you guys are ready, we will uh, head on over there. And uh, I will be back in the morning about the same time, 9.30, 10 Central, sometime like that. And we'll get this next season started. So uh, thank you guys. Appreciate all of you. And uh, we will uh, head on over there shortly. But uh, thanks again. And I'll uh, see you tomorrow.